Welcome to our Mystery Sleep Stories channel, your sanctuary for meditation and a peaceful sleep. Immerse yourself in the soothing embrace of sleep-inducing tales, carefully crafted to transport you to mysterious lands. Let the gentle rain and serene sounds of nature accompany you on this quest for deep sleep. Say goodbye to restless nights and welcome the embrace of a restful sleep with our mystery bedtime stories. So, let the tale begin. The Witch and the Shadow Demon Chapter 1 The Enchanted Shadow In a forgotten corner of the ancient city of Thaloria, a place where cobblestone streets wound through labyrinthine alleyways and time seemed to stand still, lived a witch named Alara. Her presence in the city was as enigmatic as the moon that often bathed Thaloria in its pale, ethereal light. Known throughout the town for her unusual magical powers, Alara was a figure both feared and revered. The townsfolk whispered tales of her abilities, claiming she could summon storms with a flick of her wrist or heal the gravest of wounds with a touch. Yet, it was not just her powers that captivated the imagination of Thaloria's residence. It was the shadow that clung to her, always moving with a life of its own that truly set her apart. Alara's shadow, with its eerie autonomy, added to her mystique and the dark aura that surrounded her. Unlike ordinary shadows, it did not simply follow her movements. It often acted independently, its dark form shifting and writhing, as though it had a mind of its own. The townspeople, wary of this unsettling phenomenon, kept their distance. They avoided her whenever possible, crossing the street to avoid her gaze. Yet they also recognized the necessity of her presence. In times of dire need, when illness or misfortune struck, they found their way to her door driven by desperation and hope. Elara's home, a gothic mansion wrapped in ivy and shrouded in shadows, stood at the edge of the forest that bordered Thaloria. The mansion, with its towering spires and darkened windows, looked as if it had been plucked from a storybook of old. The gardens that surrounded it were filled with magical plants, their leaves shimmering with unearthly light. Rare herbs and blossoms, known only to those versed in ancient lore, thrived in this enchanted garden, tended by Alara's careful hand. The air around the mansion was thick with the scent of blooming flowers and the faint hum of magic. Inside her home, Alara's life was a blend of the arcane and the mundane. Shelves lined with ancient tomes and grimoires filled the rooms, each book containing spells and knowledge passed down through generations. Potions bubbled in cauldrons over low flames, filling the air with a mix of fragrant and acrid scents. The walls were adorned with tapestries depicting mystical symbols and scenes of long-forgotten battles between good and evil. Despite the somber atmosphere, there was a sense of warmth and protection within these walls. Alara's role as the town's reluctant guardian brought many to her door, seeking her elixirs and protective spells. Those brave enough to approach her were often met with a quiet kindness 
and a wisdom that belied her years. She listened to their woes, offered remedies, and performed rituals to shield them from harm. Yet, despite her benevolent actions, a shadow loomed over Alara's heart, for she carried a heavy secret. The shadow that followed her was not merely a reflection, but a separate entity named Noctis. Born from a failed ritual in her youth, Noctis was a creature of darkness and cunning. The ritual, intended to enhance her powers, had gone terribly wrong, binding Noctis to her in a twisted symbiosis. Unlike Alara, who used her magic to aid others, Noctis was driven by darker desires. It whispered to her constantly, its voice a seductive murmur that promised limitless power and knowledge, if only she would succumb to its influence. Noctis's influence was a constant struggle for Elara. The shadow sought to overtake her mind and soul, urging her to abandon her morals and embrace the darkness. It promised her dominion over all she surveyed, a throne built on the fear and subjugation of those around her. But Ilara, strong-willed and resilient, fought against these temptations, striving to maintain her sense of self and the goodness that had always guided her actions. Living with Noctis was a daily battle, one that left Alara weary but determined. She knew that the townspeople could never understand the true extent of her burden, the constant vigilance required to keep Noctis at bay. Yet, she bore this struggle in silence, continuing to serve the Loria with the hope that one day she might find a way to rid herself of the dark entity that haunted her. As the full moon cast its glow over Thaloria, Elara stood at the edge of her garden, looking out into the forest. The shadows danced around her, a reminder of the constant battle within. She took a deep breath, her resolve hardening. She would find a way to defeat Noctis, to free herself from its grasp. Until then, she would continue to protect the people of Thaloria, using her magic for good. Even as the shadow of the sorcerer loomed ever close. Chapter 2 The Rising Darkness. One fateful night, when the moon was at its fullest, and the wind howled through the trees like a chorus of lost souls, the dark entity Noctis grew stronger than ever before. The atmosphere was charged with a foreboding energy, and Alara could feel the ominous presence intensifying within her. The air in her gothic mansion felt heavy, as if the darkness itself was pressing down upon her. This night was different from all others, and Alara knew it. It was time to put an end to the curse that had plagued her for so many years. Her heart pounded in her chest as she gathered the necessary materials for the ritual. Her resolve was firm, though a shiver of fear ran down her spine. She could not afford to fail. Alara meticulously prepared her chamber, her sanctuary and prison for so long. The room was filled with the scent of burning herbs and the soft glow of enchanted candles. She cleared the center of the floor and began to draw a pentagram, each line precise and filled with ancient power. Every stroke of chalk was a step closer to either freedom or doom. Alara placed candles at each point of the pentagram their flames flickering and casting long, eerie shadows that danced across the stone walls. 
She took a deep breath, steadying herself as she recalled the incantations she had memorized from the oldest and most sacred of her grimoires. The words of the spell were in a language so ancient that it had been nearly forgotten, passed down only through the whispers of time and the lips of the wise. As she began to chant, the room seemed to hum with an otherworldly energy. The flickering candlelight grew stronger, casting brighter and more ominous shadows. Each word she spoke was a beacon of light piercing through the darkness that enveloped her soul. Noctis, sensing the imminent threat, thrashed violently within her. The shadow entity screamed, its voice a blend of anger and desperation, echoing through Alara's mind. It was a sound that would chill the heart of any mortal, but Alara was determined to see this through. The power of the spell surged through her, creating a barrier that kept Noctis from escaping. The struggle was immense. Alara could feel her energy waning, but she pressed on, her voice growing louder and more forceful with each incantation. She could feel the dark presence being drawn out, resisting with every ounce of its malevolent strength. Her own shadow seemed to writhe on the floor, a twisted reflection of the battle taking place within her. Suddenly, a burst of light erupted from the center of the pentagram. The intensity of the illumination was blinding, filling the entire chamber with a pure, radiant glow. Elara felt a searing pain as Noctis was forcibly torn from her shadow. The entity's screams reached a fever pitch, a cacophony of rage and agony. As the light subsided, she saw Noctis standing before her, no longer a mere shadow, but an independent creature of pure darkness. Noctis's form was ever-shifting, a mass of swirling blackness with blazing red eyes that burned with an unholy fire. The creature was a manifestation of all the dark magic and negative energy that had been bound within Alara for so long. It stood there, a being of pure malice, gazing at her with a hatred that seemed to burn through the very air. Elara, the weakened, stood tall and resolute. She had known this moment would come, and despite the fear gnawing at her, she was prepared to face the creature she had inadvertently created. The ritual had succeeded in separating Noctis from her, but the battle was far from over. She knew that this was just the beginning of the final confrontation that would determine her fate. The room, now bathed in the residual light of the ritual, seemed to hold its breath. The flickering candles cast an ethereal glow on the pentagram, which now seemed to pulse with a life of its own. Elara could feel the energy in the air, a mix of lingering magic and the oppressive presence of Noctis. She knew she would have to draw upon every bit of her strength and knowledge to defeat this dark entity once and for all. As she faced Noctis, Alara's mind raced with the spells and countermeasures she had prepared. The creature took a step towards her, its form undulating and menacing. This was the moment she had been preparing for, the ultimate test of her will and her power. With a final deep breath, she readied herself for the confrontation that would decide her destiny. Chapter 3 The Battle for Freedom Standing in her dimly lit chamber, 
Alara confronted Noctis, her shadow demon, now freed and fully manifested. The creature was a grotesque blend of darkness and rage, its form constantly shifting, eyes glowing with an eerie red light. Alara knew that the final confrontation was unavoidable. The air crackled with tension, the remnants of the ritual's energy lingering like a storm about to break. Noctis, no longer constrained by her shadow, moved with a malevolent fury that sent shivers down her spine. With a snarl, Noctis lunged at Alara, its clawed hands reaching out to tear through the barrier of light that she hastily summoned. She felt the familiar surge of magic course through her veins, a lifetime of study and practice culminating in this moment. Drawing on every ounce of her magical prowess, she countered Noctis's attack with a burst of blinding light, forcing the creature to recoil with a guttural scream. The battle commenced with a ferocity that shook the very foundations of her gothic mansion. Light and dark magic clashed in a violent display, each collision sending shockwaves through the chamber. Alara and Noctis moved in a deadly dance, their powers intertwining and rebounding off each other. The walls trembled, and the floor cracked under the immense strain of their duel. Alara's spells, honed over years of practice, were precise and powerful. But Noctis was relentless, driven by a hatred and desire for domination that seemed endless. Noctis's attacks were savage and unyielding. Each strike aimed to break Alara's defenses and claim her soul. The shadow demon's form twisted and contorted, becoming a whirlwind of dark energy that lashed out at her. Alara responded with barriers of light, arcane sigils that glowed with protective power, and blasts of elemental magic that scorched the air. Her determination never wavered, her desire for freedom and peace fueling her every move. Despite the intensity of the battle, Alara remained focused, her mind racing through the myriad spells and incantations she had learned. She knew that to defeat Noctis, she would need more than just raw power. She needed strategy and precision. Drawing upon the deepest wells of her magic, she began to weave a complex spell, one that required perfect timing and unwavering concentration. The duel raged on, both combatants pushing each other to their limits. Sweat poured down Alara's face, her breaths coming in ragged gasps as she maintained her onslaught. Noctis, too, showed signs of strain, its once fluid movements becoming erratic and desperate. Alara saw her chance. Summoning the last reserves of her strength, she began to chant a powerful incantation, her voice rising above the chaos of the battle. The air around her shimmered as the spell took form, a brilliant lattice of magical energy that encircled Noctis. The shadow demon thrashed and howled, trying to break free, but the spell's power was too great. Elara poured all her remaining energy into the incantation, her vision blurring as exhaustion threatened to overtake her. With a final, determined cry, she completed the spell. A surge of energy erupted from Elara, enveloping Noctis in a blinding light. The shadow demon screamed in agony, its form disintegrating into tendrils of darkness that were drawn into a crystalline vessel Elara had prepared. The crystal glowed with an intense light, 
sealing Noctis away for eternity. The room fell silent, the only sound the crackling of dissipating magical energy. Elara, utterly drained, collapsed to the floor, her body trembling with exhaustion. She lay there, breathing heavily, her mind a whirlwind of relief and disbelief. She had done it. Noctis was defeated, trapped within the magical crystal, unable to torment her any longer. The weight of years of struggle and fear lifted from her shoulders, replaced by a profound sense of peace and triumph. As she lay on the cold floor of her chamber, Alara's thoughts drifted to the future. The battle had taken its toll, but she had emerged victorious. The darkness that had shadowed her life was gone, and with it, the constant threat that had loomed over her every moment. She knew there would be challenges ahead, but for now, she allowed herself to savor the hard-won victory. With a final, deep breath, Elara closed her eyes, letting the exhaustion wash over her as she slipped into a restful sleep, free at last from the shadow that had haunted her for so long. Chapter 4 A New Dawn With Noctis imprisoned in the magical crystal, Elara felt an overwhelming sense of relief. The oppressive weight that had burdened her for years lifted, leaving her with a newfound lightness she had almost forgotten. For the first time in what seemed like an eternity, Alara was free from the dark shadow that had haunted her every step. However, this hard-won victory came at a significant cost. The intense battle had drained her magical reserves, leaving her powers diminished. No longer could she command the forces of magic with the same ease and strength as before. Despite this loss, Alara embraced her newfound peace. The absence of Noctis meant more to her than the strength of her powers. She was ready to begin a new chapter of her life, one not defined by fear and struggle, but by healing and renewal. As the days turned into weeks, the townsfolk of Thaloria began to notice a change in Alara. The once reclusive witch, who had seemed so distant and formidable, now carried an air of openness and kindness. Alara's gothic mansion, which had stood at the edge of the forest like a grim sentinel, began to transform. The thick ivy that had once choked its walls was carefully pruned, allowing the structure to breathe and reveal its elegant architecture. Flowers bloomed in her magical gardens, their vibrant colors and soothing scents inviting visitors. What had once been a place of foreboding now became a sanctuary for those in need. The townsfolk, who had long viewed Alara's home with a mixture of fear and awe, started to see it in a new light. They came to her not only in desperation, but also in hope. Alara's door was always open to those seeking help, and her reduced powers were still formidable enough to provide solace and healing. She brewed potions for the sick, crafted charms for protection, and listened to the woes of the weary. Her touch, though less potent than before, was filled with a warmth and compassion that had a magic of its own. Alara had learned a profound lesson through her ordeal. True magic lay not in sheer power, but in the courage to confront and overcome the darkness within oneself. Her battle with Noctis 
had taught her the value of bravery, loyalty, and true friendship. These lessons she now shared with all who came to her door. She spoke of facing fears, of the importance of standing up to inner demons, and the strength found in community and support. As her reputation as a protector and healer grew, the town of Thaloria began to see Alara in a new light. No longer just the mysterious witch at the edge of the forest, she became a cherished member of the community. Children who once cowered at the sight of her shadow now ran to her with smiles and laughter, eager to hear her stories and see the small, enchanting displays of magic she could still perform. The villagers found in Alara a source of wisdom and guidance. She taught them not only about herbs and spells, but also about resilience and the power of the human spirit. Her home became a place of gathering, where knowledge was shared and bonds were strengthened. The Gothic mansion, once a symbol of fear, now stood as a beacon of hope and healing. Alara's journey from darkness to light inspired many. She had faced her deepest fears and emerged stronger, not in power, but in spirit. The shadow of her past had been vanquished, replaced by a future filled with promise. She had traded the isolation of her former life for the warmth of community, finding joy in the connection she forged with those around her. As the seasons changed and the full moon once again bathed the Loria in its gentle light, Elara looked out over the town with a sense of fulfillment. She had found peace not in the conquest of external foes, but in the reconciliation with her own inner turmoil. Her story became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of love and courage. The new dawn that had broken over Alara's life spread its light to the entire town, marking the beginning of a brighter future for all. In the end, it was not the strength of her magic that defined Alara, but the strength of her heart. And it was this that truly made her a beacon of hope for Thaloria. <laughs>